Hello. In Quarkus 0.16.0, we have released the new extensions to send email from a Quarkus applications. This video is going to illustrate these new features. First thing I'm going to do is to create a new project using the Quarkus Maven plugin. This project uses the version 0.16.0, but obviously you can use later version 2. Now I'm going to my project and open my IDE. This is a default project that has been generated, so our PAM file is relatively simple with only the default dependencies added. I'm now going to add the mailer extension using the add extension plugin and passing mailer to the extension list. Now it's been added to our PAM file. We can check that. Here it is. So we have our new dependencies. We can now start using it, but first we need to configure the mailer to use your SMTP server. For this, we need to pass a few properties. I'm going to copy some properties from another application and look at them. So what do we have? We have the from property that indicate from which email address you are going to send emails. Then you have the host and parts that configure your SMTP server. Whether or not you want SSL, obviously you can also uh, configure the authentication method and things like this. And finally, your credentials. Now that it's configured, we can use the mailer inside our JAXR endpoint or anywhere from your uh, Quarkus application. The mailer extension provides two API, an imperative one and a reactive one. We are going to start with the imperative one, and I'm going to inject the mailer object inside my Jaxera endpoint. And now I'm going to create a new method that will be on slash mail that will use this new mailer. Let's call it mail. To send an email, I need an email. So I can use the main class to create a new email. So I can use a, a empty constructor, or I can use a, with HTML and with text convenient method. In this first example, I'm going to use with text. It's going to send a plain text mail. I'm sending this email to me. The subject is going to be Uh, mail sent with Quarkus, and my body would be something like hello, this email has been sent with the imperative mail. Something like this. I will store this in a local variable, like this, and now I can use my mailer and do send, and I can send several emails in one batch, but here I have a single one, so I just do this. And then I just return mail sent. So that should be enough. I'm going to start my application and see if this is working. So application is getting started. Here it is. I go to my browser and invoke my new endpoint mail. The mail is sent and let's check here. Did we receive it yet? Yes, mail sent with Quarkus. Received zero minutes ago, so that is that one. And we have what we expected. But as I said, the mailer extension is also providing a reactive API. Let's use that one. I'm going to inject a reactive mailer. I need a bracket here. And I'm going to copy this. So you may wonder why you want to use reactive to send emails, because especially when you use attachments, sending emails can take times. And blocking the color thread is never a good idea, as it's going to reduce the concurrency of your uh, systems. The Quarkus mailer is implemented on top of a non-blocking mail client, so you can really use a reactive mailer in a non-blocking manner, and there is no thread pool involved on something like this. So I'm going to create this new endpoint. I'm using the path reactive mail. Is going to be a reactive endpoint, so I'm going to use completion stage instead of uh, the string. Okay, I need to change this. 
Uh, instead of text, I'm going to use HTML this time. And I will change the subject. And here, I can use uh, HTML tags because it's some HTML emails. I'm now using the reactive mailer here, send mail. And the reactive mailer is returning on completion stage. So I can, once it's done, I can uh, change some operation. And here I'm just going to return mail send reactive. Return this, and we are good to go. So if I go back here, I invoke this new endpoint. You can check here. And we have our second email that has been received uh, with HTML content. We see that we have the bold effect inside our text. So as expected. We have just scratched the surface of this new mailer. Uh, extension here. Uh, we have seen that it provides uh, imperative and reactive API, but it also supports attachment, inline attachment, headers, and things like this. So check the documentation to go further. In addition, the mailer extension works in native mode, so you can compile this application into native using the Quarkus native facilities and run it as a native executable. 